Okay, so this is um, Algebra 1, Lesson 4, Graphing Relations. The objective for today's students will describe a relationship when given a graph and create a graph based upon a given description. So we'll look at graphs and we'll look at relationships between graphs, okay? Um, basically, we see graphs all the time as kids, even adults for sure, but kids, you see it for sure. And um, time, There's graphs that are always pointed out to you online, okay? Or on like maybe a website or in a textbook for sure. And they're trying to prove something to you, like, it could be anything. And you'll see a graph, and this is just an example, and you might see something like this. Raise your hand if you've ever seen, like, a graph that kind of looks like this, like a similar drawing. Okay, so you need to know how to read it, okay? So we're gonna be, that's the goal for today, and we're going to make our own. So here are the steps. If you haven't written down, or don't have them, please write them down. If you're on the video, please pause it now. I'm going to continue it. Okay. I'm going to do numbers one and two, and we're just, I'm just going to create something and then we're going to talk about it, okay? So numbers one and two, so just watch right now. So so let's say that the, there was a given graph as follows, okay? And you're not creating a graph. Let's just say you, you saw a graph and it looks like this, okay? And it looks like as follows, okay? And, it, and let's say the title of this graph was on number one, let's just say, you're just watching right now, you'll get a chance to write for sure, so don't, don't, don't be writing right now. So on number one, let's say your graph looks like that, and let's say this was a graph about Mr. Rinkowitz's distance from, from home, okay? So, all right, so in the morning, Mr. Rinkowitz is over here, and then he goes to work, okay? And he's at work, so is he moving anymore? No, he's not moving anymore. Is the distance from home to work going to change when he's at work? No, it's not, right? I'm still here. Home's still there. It doesn't move away from me. And then after work, Mr. Rinkowitz goes and does a, an errand farther away. Just for a little bit, he's there just for a quick moment, right? And then he comes home, right? And then once he's at the end of the graph, is he home right here at the end? Yes or no? Okay, good. So then... When you look at a graph, you have to think about what's happening on the graph. So the gr on this graph at the beginning, let's say we have, let's say I divide it into this section, right? And I'm going to divide it into this little, these little parts. Okay, let's say this is, these are intervals. Let's say this is interval 1, interval 2, interval 3, and I'm naming these interval 4, okay? What's happening in interval 1? What am I doing in interval 1? What, what did I say I was doing at the beginning of the day? Going to work. So I would write drives to work, okay? What's happening in interval two? You're at work. Good, I am at work. Excellent. What about in interval three? What's that? Running an errand, right? So I'm going farther away from home because I'm running an errand. And lastly, interval four, what's, what am I doing? Home. Driving home, right? Does that make sense? Yes. So on number one, as time moves forward, the distance could change, right? Does, does that all make sense? Yes. Okay, here's another example. Okay, let's, number two, let's just say that the uh, volume of water, okay, let's say you built a new swimming pool at home, it's like a special swimming pool, it's different than maybe what you have, actually let's change it up a bit, let's put that, volume of water will be not there, let's put time again, okay, on the bottom, and then let's say you had a volume of water on the, on the side, brand new swimming pool, and you see a graph, and the guy's all like, this is how much water you will have. Okay? So. Looks like there's only two things happening here. Okay? What's happening at the beginning? Well, looking at the beginning, does my swimming pool have any water in it? Yes or no? No. No. And then what happens? What do you think is happening from here to here? I'm filling the water. Is the swimming pool just get automatically filled like that? 
Now it takes time, right? And then what happens here? Is it still filling with water? No. Is there water in the pool? Yeah, there's a ton of water in the pool, right? Because it's, it's all filled up, right? But am I putting any more water in? Nope. Good. So that means it's filled. So let's do this in two intervals. We have interval one and interval two. What's happening in interval one, everyone? Okay, filling up the pool, right? Filling the pool. What's happening in interval two? Cool, pool is full. It's hard to say. Pool is full. That's it. Okay. Any questions? Okay, so we're just going to be looking at graphs, and then we're going to create a graph. We're going to get a, 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 an example, and we'll create one, okay? So let's have you talk about this. One cell, two is about number one. Two cell, one is about number two. Ready, set, go. Okay, number three, I want you to imagine this is the example. This, The title of this would say, so Mr. Rinkwitz actually got a dog this last year in, in May. She's really cute. You want to see a picture of her? Yes. Okay. <laughs> of course you do. So this was my puppy the first day I got her. And, and then this is, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Thanks. Okay, this is her when we first got her. This is what she looked like. And now she... Okay, I'll turn it off. And then this is her. She, she one day got uh, into my vegetable garden. Okay, so... So that's my dog. So, this was like the first day she she was sleeping for a long time, and this was uh, her. Wait, what kind of dog it was? It's a Labrador, yellow Labrador. Oh, that's cute. And that's then, cute. And then she uh, now she's like forty pounds, but she's she's about halfway there. Anyways, so this is my dog, and so this is a graph of what's expected for my dog to her weight, right? So time passing by, and what's the up and down axis, everyone? The y-axis, but what does it say, though? Wait, okay, good. So, here we go. So, looking up here, let's let's divide this into different... Uh, I'm going to divide this into different intervals, okay? I'll call this one interval 1, interval 2, interval 3, interval 4. Okay, cool. So, here we go. What's happening in interval 1? What do you think happened... Where does interval one start? Let's talk about that. Yep. When I just got her or when she was born. Okay, so interval one. What's happening in interval one? Is it growing? Is it staying the same or is it going smaller? No, it's growing a little bit. Okay, so when I got the dog, the dog was... I'm going to make some space down here for me. Got to keep her face up here. Woo. Okay. You know what her name is? Her name is Rue from the Hunger Games, by the way. Okay, hide the tomato. Okay, so Rue was, in interval one, she is born and growing slowly, right? Is she bo growing quickly or slowly? Slowly. Born, growing slowly, slowly, growing slowly. Okay, good. And then, in about two months, what happens in interval two? She's growing a lot. She's growing a lot, or is that the right word to use? A lot, fast or quickly, right? Growing sl fast. Okay. Okay, interval three, what's happening? Is she still growing? Yes. Fast? Yeah. I think she's growing steadily, okay? Growing 
growing steady. Okay. And lastly, interval three, or last one, what's happening? She's fully grown, right? Is she shrinking? No. And of course, she doesn't, does her weight ever get less? No, because she's going to live forever, okay? Yeah. Okay, fully grown. She'll never die. Okay? So these are examples, okay? And it could be to anything. I give you an example of my dog. You can make it for anything. So um, in your... I'm only going to just show you this little bit for our lesson today because I want you to get started on your homework. But this will conclude the lesson.